Um, and what we have here is really the two titans of figurative art of the 20th century combined in this one extraordinary canvas. Um, 1964, um, both artists had met probably about 20 years earlier um, through the artist Graham Sutherland. So what you have is 20 years of history of friendship, artistic rivalry, um, peer on peer intertwined into this one canvas. So you see Bacon really knowing his subject. There's a psychological dynamic between both of them. You have Francis Bacon looking at his great peer and rival, and then you have Freud, um, the artist, looking back at someone painting him in this sort of quite unusual circumstances. And I think what you get from that is this intensity, and an intensity that echoes Freud's own um, modes of depiction. Um, you have him staring back at the artist intently, um, and his fists clenched, ready to get up off the bench. Well, works uh, by Bacon have come, do come onto the market. We just sold an exceptional portrait, um, a study for a pope in, in our New York sales in May, selling for over $40 million. The record for a um, Francis Bacon painting is, in fact, of Lucian Freud. It was a triptych um, which sold for $142 million. So um, this is only one single panel, but there hasn't been a single panel of Freud on the market um, of this scale before. The leading works in the sale are obviously the Francis Bacon of Lucien Freud and um, some great paintings uh, by artists such as Bridget Riley, sculpture by Barbara Hepworth uh, and works by artists such as Frank Auerbach and Leon Kossoff. Um, but we're also excited to pair the British art sale with our major auction of international works by modern and contemporary artists. 